Started the day off with a little bit of admin work, got that tackled, now it's time to get under the bar and move some weights. Get a good start off to Tuesday morning. It's gonna be a busy one today and it's gonna be a long run right through till about 8 p.m. So, let's get this show on the road. And of course, you know that I like to live life on the edge, so we ran a top end double on the infamous incline bench press, 268 pounds before backing off the weight to 241 pounds and running four more respective doubles all of which felt significantly smoother than that first top end set, which was definitely a bit of a grinder. Moved on to some mid cable rows here, climbing the waist stack 142 and a half pounds, cleared multiple sets across and then transitioned into the reverse hyper rope face pull, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite accessory exercises for the rear delts. I find that this is much more progressive than doing the face pull on a cable stack, a selectorized stack, but it could just be me playing mind games with myself. I'm not entirely sure, but I definitely feel these a lot more, and I enjoy the reverse hyper setup. It could also be because I feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck, considering that usually the reverse hyper is not that versatile of a piece of equipment, and I like using it for more than reverse hyper extensions. Then we went into some triceps. We got the earthquake bar here, 124 pounds, I believe, for four sets of 15 repetitions. Got the close grip placement, and then finished off this upper body Tuesday training session with some inclined tape presses, 30 pound dumbbells, rolling for some high rep work. I don't know why I ended up doing two sets of 21 repetitions. I was going for 20 to 25 reps and barely cleared the bottom rep range on both sets and managed to keep it even. So that's that. We'll take it. A win's a win. And Tuesday morning definitely felt like one. Thursday morning started off with sumo deadlifts, which are not one of my stronger lists. 410 pounds for three sets of four repetitions, and that was the volume work. I did run a top end double at 460 in advance, and then backed off these volume sets with 410 for a double afterwards, but my filming game was clearly poor, kind of like the execution of this final repetition here, and then went into some accessory work. We've got the step ups to the 18 inch box with the SSB, 105 pounds running that linear progression, eight repetitions per leg, and then finished off with some sled, drag, and push combination, 285 pounds for 50 second rounds. Saturday morning single on the pin press, 306 pounds, felt real good to be passed 300 on the pin press. However, I was supposed to run that for a double, only managed to grind out a single, but the back off work I did clear both doubles with and managed a burnout set for 15 repetitions as well. A little bit of back accessory work here on the belt squat, and then we took the 75 pound dumbbells for a spin on the incline dumbbell chest press, which is some pretty significant weight to throw around with some incline dumbbell pressing variations. Managed to clear two sets of 12 and one set of 15 respectively, and definitely felt encouraged by my performance here. It's been a minute since I felt this strong on the incline. Even years ago, I never felt this strong on the incline back when I was prioritizing it with your traditional bro split approach. Some tricep accessory work to finish off. Four sets of 20 to 30 reps here with the V-bar tricep press down, and that was a wrap on Saturday's session. And then finish this week off with an absolute smoke show top end single, 400 45 pounds, boom, light work, and forgot to film the rest of the workout.